What's up everybody, Neil Angela here with another unboxing video. Today we'll be unboxing the Gears of War Xbox One S Limited Edition Bundle. Just picked it up today, Friday the 7th. I would have picked it up on Wednesday or technically Tuesday when they had a after hours release at GameStop. But unfortunately my current job had me working out of the area so I had to wait until Friday. So, sucks to be me, right? Anyways, so what we got is a two terabyte system supposed to be uh, this gorgeous looking artwork right here on the console and of course you know everyone already knows that the uh, new Xbox S Slim is supposed to be 4k HD for uh, video streaming blu-ray um, obviously backwards compatible and this one is a two terabyte edition just like the uh, Slim when it first released here's the back of the box Side view, and just that basic disclaimer crap no one cares about. All right, let's see what we got. So we have this little thing that basically just common sense stuff, how to set up your console, stuff like that. All right, so here's what the uh, inside looks like at the moment. Let's pull this out, see what this is. Ah, uh, this, however, looks like my code for my digital download, which, let's see, code's on the back, so make sure no one can see that. So, digital download for the Ultimate Edition, and 14 days, well, I'll use that because mine's just expired right at the moment. And of course you got your Xbox One instructions, manual, probably war yeah, warranty stuff. And here is the stand that only comes with the two terabyte editions. I guess apparently if you buy the one terabyte and the 500 gig that'll be coming out in December, you have to buy this separately. So if you have the two terabyte one, you are automatically get this. And of course, you know, they had to try and deck everything out in Gears of War. Even the little stuff on the inside. Alrighty. So. Here. Oh, fuck my life. Fumble. Good thing it didn't fall very far. So, here's the custom Crimson Omen controller. Ooh, I actually like that. Ooh, actually. Oh, they weren't lying when they said that the uh, scratch marks were actually grafted into the uh, controller. And I believe it's supposed to be the same console, so I'm not sure if you can get a good look at that. Backside, you got the Phoenix Omen, the original Gears logo. I like that detail. Really, really admiring that. That's pretty cool. And of course, like always, batteries because Microsoft still hasn't gotten out of building their controllers with the built-in charger battery. HDMI cable, that'll probably just go in the pile because I have better ones. And, ah, and the new power cord, since apparent since the new Slim has doesn't have a power brick anymore. So that's a plus. This will actually help with my games backpack. Uh, I already had a video on that, so I'm pretty sure you already know what that is. And with the old Xbox, the brick kind of takes up the upper pouch. So with this, I can actually put a controller two in there instead of having to throw this in a separate bag. Alrighty, now the moment we've all been waiting for, the actual console itself. Yay! Alright. <clears throat> Alrighty. Here is the front of the console. Here's the top of the console. That looks actually really nice. And just like they said before, the actual claw marks are actually grafted in. You can actually feel them. That's pretty neat. Side view. The ass end. So obviously you got the power, power source. HDMI out. My friend Miles screwed up and accidentally hooked up his monitor to this thing and saying, why wasn't my Xbox turning on? 
Actually, no, I take that back. He had he had it hooked up to this one. And it's like, um, dummy, there's two HDMIs. Make sure you plug it into the right one. And then you got the two USBs. Uh, if you have the Kinect still, unfortunately, you have to buy the special adapter for this. So you'll have to sacrifice a USB slot just for your Kinect. Um, IR out, optical in for headsets, surround sound systems. The Ethernet cable in case you want to hardwire your system. And then, of course, the push buttons. And then the at the uh, USB in the front. So I guess a lot of people are complaining about the ones on the side. And then you got the Phoenix emblem on the bottom side for people to see if you happen to use the stand. I prefer to lay mines down, but since this is smaller and not sure how sturdy it is, so I probably wouldn't want to sit my 24-inch gaming monitor on top of it. So I'll probably have this standing. Alrighty, and oh, and apparently I guess GameStop was giving away these gear pack cards. They weren't sure if they're all the same or not, so they just gave me a handful, which is kind of nice because I opened up two packs already. And the only thing that seemed the same so far is the T-shirts for the uh, avatars, but the car. Other than that, the the card DLCs are all different. So got a couple more to go through. All right, that's the unboxing video for the uh, Gears of War S bundle. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.